Hey, it's Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to show you the actual cost for $25,000 worth of burial, cremation, life insurance, final expense, or funeral funds for a 62-year-old female. Now, first thing you need to understand is you can go directly to our website, and we've got these quarters on just about every page of our website. You just select the state that you live in. We are licensed in all 50 states, by the way. And then select the coverage amount, put your birthday, other information in, click Get Quotes Now. It'll take you to a page that's going to show the best insurance companies in your state and the lowest rates. And then you can use that to compare to all those ridiculous offers you see on TV and magazines and stuff like that are like super low priced. And then when you actually get them on the phone, they're going to try to upsell you into something, into a plan that's typically and quite often like 200% more expensive than you can get through the companies we work with. So yeah, take advantage of that quarter. It'll make you a smart, educated shopper. And then uh, you can call us at our toll-free number, 888-862-9456. One of our agents can run those rates for you as well. Now, one of the first things you need to understand is, you know, as a 62-year-old female, is $25,000 going to take care of your final expense needs? Now, typically that's going to be one of two things. That's going to be either cremation or a burial. Now, the average cost of a cremation right now in the United States is right around one to two thousand dollars. That's if you come home in a cardboard box or an urn. If you're going to have a ceremony and uh, then uh, be cremated as well, that's probably going to be between thirty five hundred to forty five hundred with a celebration of life or a remembrance ceremony or something like that. So, typically, we're not going to recommend getting twenty five thousand dollars worth of insurance for that. Uh, if somebody is wanting 25000 a lot of times they're wanting to leave money behind for the kids. It's just, um, you know, most of the people we work with are on a fixed or limited income. And to get overinsured, a lot of times that just doesn't make sense. And one of the worst things you can do is go, man, if I can't afford $25,000, I'm not going to do anything at all. That just leaves your kids and family in at financial risk when you pass away and they're going to have to come up with this money. So for that cremation, uh, where you're just going to come home to cardboard box earner, and we'd typically recommend five thousand to seven thousand dollars worth of insurance. If you're going to have the ceremony and the cremation, about seven to ten thousand dollars. That leaves you, a, you know, if God God forbid you die sooner than anybody thinks, there's a little extra money in there to take care of any other final expenses, medical bills, stuff like that. But also, we've got enough coverage there that as you go to age sixty-two and seventy-two and eighty-two, we can make sure that we've got enough insurance that you never have to worry about this and never have to worry about buying or qualifying for insurance again. So we can help you out with that. Now, if you're going to be buried, the average cost of the burial right now in the United States is right around $10,000. So if you walk into a funeral home with a $10,000 check, chances are they're going to they're gonna take care of that and help you out with that. Now, it's not going to be anything fancy. Yeah, not for ten grand, But they should be able to get it done. It's hard to imagine that if you walk in and hand them a $10,000 check, they're going to say no and tell you to go walk out the door, walk down the street, and hand it over to one of their competitors. Just understand, it's not going to be fancy. And $10,000 covers it right now, but, um, you know, it, you're 62 now, age 72, 82, it's not going to take care of it. So we would typically recommend somewhere between, you know, 10000 15000 20000 you know, pr typically not 25000 but if you've got the financial means and you want specific things done when you're gone, we can certainly help you with the higher coverage amounts. But just understand, we uh, we want to protect your budgets and make sure that you're not overinsured. That just keeps more money in your pocket while you're alive, and you can have more fun with your money. That's a big deal. So uh, one thing we always recommend is first aid coverage or benefits. And what that means is that hypothetically, if your policy was approved today and you died tomorrow, that the insurance company would pay the full $25,000 if that's the amount of insurance you had. That's the ideal coverage. We don't recommend two-year waiting period plans at all, at all. And um, some people would say, you know, oh, man, I really want the first day coverage, but I know those plans ask health questions and I'm not in the best of health. To which we say, hey, your health is our problem. That's not your problem. We work with enough different insurance companies. They all have different health questions. They, they all have different underwriting requirements. And 90, 95% of the time, we're getting people first day coverage or benefits. The only reason we wouldn't be able to get that for you is if you had some really significant health issues like 
you had a terminal illness and you're going to pass away in the next 12 months, or you had uh, dementia or you're on dialysis or in a hospital or in a nursing home, something like that. If that were the case, we'd typically refer you out to a different company. And it seems like every week we get a call from somebody too, and they'll say, hey, we had a family member pass away this, this last week, and they didn't have insurance, and we don't have any money. So, you know, the, the body's down at the funeral home right now, and the funeral director's not going to do anything till he gets a check in his hand. So we, we, need to, we need to get this insurance really quick so that we can get a check in our hand and get that check to the funeral home director. And we have to let them know that there is no insurance company in the United States that's going to offer a policy or issue a policy on a dead person. It's not how this works. You need this insurance before you die. And it's really sad. And it's really terrible that that person who passed away didn't take care of this. And they knew they were going to die sometime. They, they probably thought they were going to get this insurance someday. And then, then uh, they didn't make it. They didn't make it another day. And now their family is just in severe financial and emotional hardship because they don't have the money. And they're struggling to figure out where, where to come, come from. You know, where to get that money from and what, what a terrible thing to do to your family that it's already a stressful time because supposedly somebody loved them, but didn't get insurance to pay for them. And they said they loved them, but didn't plan for this. And now they're just throwing that, throwing that on family without any notice. And it's a terrible legacy to leave behind. You don't want to be the one where every time your name comes up, people are going, oh Yeah. You need to remember what they did to me or, oh, yeah, yeah, we're still paying on that funeral because we couldn't afford to pay it in full. We had to finance it. So don't be that person. This insurance is affordable. If you can't get everything you want, just start out small. We can always help you add more coverage later. Now, the one thing we, we, we don't recommend, as I mentioned, is two-year waiting period policies. And Colonial Pen's one of the better-known companies out there. I think it's simply just because they advertise a lot on TV. Right, that 995 plan seems like they're on the TV every seven minutes. But yeah, it's a two year waiting period for that 995 plan. And there's other companies out there too that have 995 plans like Mutual of Omaha, they're United of Omaha, AIG Gerber, a bunch of other companies. And a lot of those companies have done really amazing jobs of convincing the American public that the only thing they'll qualify for after age 50 is a two year waiting period plan, to which we say, ha ha ha. Don't fall for such nonsense because we help people with first day coverage all day long. Yeah. Now, a lot of 62 year old females would uh, watch that Colonial Pen commercial and they would go, oh man, you know, I can probably get 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, probably even $50,000 at my age for $9.95. And then they get on the phone with one of Colonial Pen's agents or they, get on their website like we've done for you here, and they find out that one unit of coverage, $9.95, is only going to pay $1,420. Now, I mean, that may be enough for a cremation today, but remember, this policy is not paying out for two years because of that ratted two-year waiting period. And, and two years from now, things are going to be more expensive due to inflation, so that $1,420 won't go as far. So why would you get a plan? Why would you get a plan that is just not going to take care of your needs? I mean, especially if you're going to have a burial. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Why would you do it? Now, a lot of people would say that, you know, there's companies out there that offer these low, they're called teaser rates, something really small to get you interested. And then when they get you on the phone, then they try to sell you more. They try to jack. It's called an upsell. And uh, I'm not saying that's the case with Colonial Pen, but. Some people might say that. I'll leave that for you to determine. But let's see. Can we even get 25000 The deal with Colonial Pen is they max out at 15 units. So that's all you can get. Let's take a look at what that is. So 15 units would be $21,300. And that's going to be $150 a month for a 62-year-old female. So is, is that a good deal? Um, yeah, I don't know. Let, let's take a look. Let's compare that to first-day coverage. So we've got $25,000 here, female, age 62. And I'm going to click Get Quote. I'm going to jump back here. We're going to look again. 21000 for one forty nine. Uh, this is showing, oh, uh, we got three great companies within, you know, a little bit here. Uh, 
So basically, right, well, t- kind of right around eighty-five dollars ish. So eighty-five versus one fifty. Which would you take? You know, eighty, eighty-four to eighty-six dollars. You can get first day coverage, or you can get a two-year waiting period, and have almost four thousand less coverage for one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, gosh, doesn't make sense to overpay, does it? If you look at the difference, I mean, that is basically right around sixty-five dollars a month. You're going to get four thousand dollars less coverage by going with the Colonial Pen and a two-year waiting period. But that's roughly $65 a month. You'd be overpaying $780 a year. If our 62-year-old female makes it at age 72, she will have overpaid roughly $7,800 more. And you could prevent it, could have prevented that all just by getting the right policy in the first place. So we'd rather you keep that roughly $7,800 in your own pocket versus give that to an insurance company. Spend it on yourself while you're alive. Spend it on your family. Create memories. Don't give it to an insurance company. Now, there's some insurance companies out there that, um, how shall I put this? They're a little bit more difficult to get approved. It might take days, weeks, or even months in some case to get approved. And their back end office support isn't as well and everything like that. So there's things to consider other than price. But a lot of times, if it's within a dollar or two, um, like, like Trinity Life here, we, we work with them uh, in a lot of cases. It's level first day coverage, and we can get a same day approval over the phone. We don't have to wait weeks or months to get approved. And a lot of people like that. They just like the fact and peace of mind knowing that they're covered. And then they've got a, a company with tremendous back end support that if they ever need any help or support, it's always there for them within seconds, really, of picking up the phone with the company. So keep that in mind. Let's look at some other insurance companies here. See some other rates. You'll be able to see all these different insurance companies. Let's go down here. Oh, here's one, Lincoln Heritage. They're a fine company, I guess. I mean, look at that pricing. Yikes, that's quite a bit more. Uh, Level coverage. So first day coverage, that's good. But So they've got a plan where they will supposedly call two or three different funeral homes to get the lowest pricing and maybe do a couple other things, but it's not free. They, They charge for it. It's more expensive. Like $123 versus, yeah, 85 ish. So that's right around $40 more. I'm just rounding numbers, but that's right around $40 a month more. And that's, that's going to be $480 a year. And that would be roughly $4,800 after 10 years. So you got to ask yourself, is it worth paying uh, an insurance company an extra $4,800 to make two or three phone calls and maybe do a couple of other things that might only take an hour or so. Some would say that's, that's a pretty good payday for the insurance company. We would tend to agree. We'd, we'd rather you see you keep that money in your own pocket. So what we've done is we've created a funeral and estate planning guide. We provide that free on our website. You can download it and fill it out. And once you fill that out, just keep it with your insurance policy. But inside that funeral and estate planning guide, you're just going to say who gets what, what goes where, and what you'd want done after you're gone. And now when you pass away, your your family or children or loved ones are protected financially with the insurance policy, but also emotionally because you've taken care of everything for them and you've let them know everything that's going to need to happen after you're gone. And that takes such an emotional burden off them. And w- what a wonderful gift to leave them knowing that you know you took care of this when you were alive and you were preparing for a time where you wouldn't be here, but they would still need your, your support. And what, what a wonderful legacy to leave behind. And in this case, you, you can do that. You can get the lowest price insurance and um, not have to spend extra money on services for companies to do that. That might cost you thousands of dollars, $4,800. Yeah. Yikes. Keep that money in your own pocket. So uh, go to funeralfunds.com. We've got these quotas on every page. We've got a special quota for our YouTube viewers, funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube. You can get the most discounts, lowest rates there. You can also call us at our toll-free number, 888-862-9456. We can help you uh, run those numbers and find out what you qualify for over the phone. And it really doesn't matter. I mean, if you've got existing insurance and you just want a price shop to see if you've got the best deal, we can help you out with that. It can save you a lot of money. 
If you want to add coverage to your current policy, we can help you out with that. If you just want to add new coverage, we can help you out there. And even uh, if you just want some help or information or find out what's appropriate, we can help you out with that too. But we look forward to helping you get the best deal and the lowest pricing and finding you the perfect plan that's going to uh, just take care of all your final expense needs. Uh, Until that day comes, you stay safe, you take care, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.